Hello, my name's Andrew Brooks. Welcome to my YouTube channel. This episode, we're going to be looking at the wonderful world of Beatles seven inch picture discs. Thank you once again for joining me on my YouTube channel. Big hello to all my new subscribers. Love getting new subscribers. And if you haven't subscribed, all you need to do is just click this button down here. Um, thanks for all the great remarks and comments I get about the videos. And I do read each one. And if I think I can answer the, the question, I will. Um, anyway, moving on to, to, to today's topic. Now, I thought, what can I, what can I talk about this week? And then it struck me that there's a little niche um, sort of Beatles collector uh, in me that collects seven inch Beatles picture discs. Now, there's not that many when you actually look at how many singles and, and uh, have been re have been released. And I've only included um, seven inch discs. So I haven't included shaped ones. I did cover some of the shaped ones in a previous video when we looked at like the Rupert the Bear one and Spies Like Us. So we are just literally looking at seven inch singles in a picture disc form. So the earliest one I could find, correct me if I'm wrong, but the earliest one I could find was actually George in 1979 when he released this um, this track called Faster from his self-titled George Harrison album. And it was to raise funds for the Gunnar Nielsen um, Cancer Fund. Uh, Gunnar Nielsen was a Formula One racing driver who died and George issued this single to raise uh, money for his uh, cancer charity so it's quite nice it's got um, uh, lots of old racing drivers on the front it's a very tight cover to get it out so you'll have to excuse me putting my fingers all over the record there we are so there's the seven inch picture disc and on the b side we have a fantastic picture of a racing car there and uh, yeah it's faster backed with uh, your love is forever um, and they're both from the george harrison album so that's the actual disc it does come um, with a very nice um, sort of uh, sleeve to, to accompany, it, uh, accompany it and it does have a hype sticker up the top here explaining where all the money's going and on the back there's the lyrics for faster and also a nice picture of George with Formula One racing driver Jackie Stewart. So that was the first one 1979. Um, don't see these too often these days certainly you have to sort of go looking for them probably in a record fair or, or even Discogs or, or eBay, but you don't certainly see them in the wild. I don't think I've ever seen one in sort of a, a second-hand shop recently, or even like a, you know, a charity thrift thrift shop. Um, so that's the first single. Now, in um, 1982 in America, I've decided to include these because although I said I'm including seven-inch round um, picture discs, these are actually square. Um, but they came out and they are picture discs because they are flexible discs and there are a picture or i should say there is a picture underneath as you can see so um technically i guess not in my format but hey <laughs> since when do i ever stick to my format um so we've got a nice one there for the red album um which was uh, all my loving and you've got to hide your love away 62 66. these were issued um i believe in america in various shops um this one is from a place called music land in fact all of these are from music land um and then we've got a blue one here for the uh, the, the blue album which is um magical mystery tour and here comes the sun and again it's from music land and then we've got one here um from the white album um again from music land and this has got um rocky raccoon and why don't we do it in the road very odd choice they are all numbered as well i don't know if you can see this the number there so that's the white album one um there's the red album one and there it is and also the blue one uh, there it is. so um although they're not technically the discs aren't um pictures there is a picture underneath and you have to play it all so yes it's my rules it's my channel so i have included these in the picture discs um mainly because i hadn't covered them anywhere else so uh, there they are very nice i think they're still quite easily available today um all you need to do is just sort of uh, have a little look around in uh, in secondhand shops or certainly online now the biggest the biggest issue of um uh, seven inch picture disc beatles picture disc came 
when the 20th anniversary of the Beatles singles came around. And initially there was um, a seven inch single and a 12 inch single of Love Me Do, but there was also a uh, seven inch picture disc. Now I don't, don't worry folks, you're not missing out. I have sourced a spare box that the uh, regular seven inch singles were issued in when the uh, reissues came out with the new picture sleeves. I've sourced another box, so don't worry, they did not, you did not buy a whole box full of um, seven inch uh, picture discs. You had to go every time one was released and um, pick it up in the record store. So, uh, but I just found a, a nice box to keep them in. And I even found the um, sort of the sheet that goes inside it explaining uh, the release dates. So um, here we go. Let's have a look, shall we? So here's the first one, which is uh, Love Me Do. There's the B-side there. You put them there. Hopefully they won't fall off. Next up we have um, Please Please Me. There's the B-side there. Actually, I'm going to put them over here just because I don't think that's very safe where I was putting them. Um, next up we've got From Me To You, which uh, has got the It Was 20 Years Ago Today logo. Now, interestingly, um, EMI when it was 20 years ago today they had a competition you may have seen it around if it was around at the time um, you had to fill in beatles crossword send it off and you could win a t-shirt guess what i won a t-shirt um back in 1983 whenever it was it's very thin now and to be honest i can't even fit in it anymore but there's the t-shirt yeah 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 it's 20 years ago today and that was a prize from emi for correctly um filling in one of the crosswords that they uh, they did um i don't know how many of them were, were issued or how many still still survive because as i say they are very thin but um yeah so that's the same logo as uh, on the back of from me to you next up we have um one of the harder ones to get from what i'm led to believe the these for some reason um were quite hard to find this is um she loves you um seven inch picture disc and uh, on the back that's the logo on the back just there there we are and it's got um yeah manufacturer's property not for sale don't know where i got that one from um next up so these are all of the uk singles issued in picture this form very nice i think they'd make a very nice sort of you know wall mounting if you if you don't play them i do i do play all my records so uh, these probably haven't been played for probably nearly 30 years but yeah i'm not afraid to play them so next up we have i want to hold your hand and this boy quite a nice picture on the back there so uh it's that one as i say these are just picture discs of the uk seven inch singles reissues so here we have can't buy me love with the beatles for sale picture on the back and uh, next up we've got a hard day's night everything as we said today it's a shame that wasn't the front because you think with hard day's night rather than that picture they'd, they'd want sort of that logo sort of you know from the, the film anyway there we are next up is uh, i feel fine there we go. There's the back picture. Um, I think this one's Ticket to Ride. And uh, yes, it is. There's a picture of a Ticket to Ride. Uh, this is quite a nice one. If you see it anywhere, help. And then, of course, the, the UK um, cover on the back. This one yep, is We Can Work It Out and Day Tripper. Great to have these um, these pictures on, on disc because when you actually play them and they spin around, especially at 45, the the images just sort of blur into one. So next we have um, a paperback writer picture disc, and very very nicely the butcher cover on the back for rain. There we go. It's quite nice to have. Um, obviously butcher cover was never issued in the UK on the sleeve of a, a, a record. So um, here we have it. Um, Yellow Submarine. Now, interestingly, I'll come on to Yellow Submarine a bit later on. But uh, this was the 80s issue um, of 20th anniversary for Yellow Submarine. And uh, there we are. Eleanor Rigby on the back. I'm not sure why there's a uh, sort of a, an angel with a, a you know, in the, from a graveyard. I mean, it's not even Eleanor Rigby's gravestone, which is uh, often depicted. But um, there we are. Next up, we have um, a picture this version of the the one of the only there was probably a couple of seven inch 
singles in the 60s that actually had picture sleeves issued in the UK. And this was one of them, obviously Strawberry Fields and on the other side, Penny Lane. And uh, that, that is a sort of a replica of the original 60s um, sleeve. So here we have um, All You Need Is Love, great photo and another great photo on the back for Baby You're a Rich Man. Terrific. Next up, we have um, Hello Goodbye and I'm the Walrus with a great, I love that picture. I love that. It's one of my favourite pictures uh, of, the, of the band from that sort of uh, magical mystery tour time. Uh, next up, we have Lady Madonna. And interestingly, this is one of the few um, picture sleeves that actually came with a with a card back in. I think they, after after this one, they all did. Because um, uh, interestingly, I'll show you the back of it. There it is there. So the inner light. And the back sleeve of that is for the Past Masters. So I'm guessing this must have been issued round about the time Past Masters came out. So they were able to give it a little free plug on the back of that. So uh, complete your Beatles CD collection now, it says uh, at the bottom there, because it contained tracks that weren't available on um, CD before. Next up, we have Hey Jude. Now, this also came out as a 12 inch picture disc as well, but here's the 7 inch one. And like the 12 inch one, it's got a cardboard insert with a fantastic apple on the, on the back there. And the back of it is them performing Revolution from the David Frost show. So that's quite nice. And the inside is the sliced apple, of course. So next up, we have Get Back and Don't Let Me Down. Again, with the cardboard sleeve, um, just a plain black sleeve on the front. Um, got a nice photo from the uh, rooftop sessions there for Don't Let Me Down. But uh, the great thing on the back of this one, I'll show you now, is the list of the um, 20th anniversary picture discs. And from memory, I think now they just basically issued like one a week just to just to, to issue. I think from memory, let me have a look here. Um, oh, no, they were still carrying on every every 20th anniversary. Else, I'm surprised because it actually lists the ones that haven't come out yet um, on the back here. So there we are. It's that one. And next up, we have Ballad of John and Yoko with the uh, photo from the last photo session there. And on the back of it, picture with Yoko. No Yoko bashing, please. Um, and that's uh, Old Brown Shoe on the B side. OK, back to the um, I'll show you the back of that. It's again, it's, it's just a repeat of the picture discs release date. And then this one is um, something and come together. Again, another photo from the last photo session. And the back of that one is nice, small Abbey Road um, photo. As I say, I, I do like these because they're they're unusual, you, you know. And the last issue on the seven inch pitch disc was Let It Be, um, just the album cover on that side. Uh, on the back, it's just the usual list of um, when the singles were coming out. And on the back, disappointingly, it's just a repeat of the first one, just different colored pictures, but they are the same pictures. Um, so that's the 20th anniversary um, Beatles singles, as I say, don't panic. They didn't come in this. I just just found one of them to go with it. OK, moving on. Moving on to the next seven inch picture disc issued is. Paul McCartney and Michael Jackson, the girl is mine from the uh, Michael Jackson album thriller. Um, it was issued as a seven inch picture disc here. And then, uh, that's the back of it there. Yeah, it's quite quite unusual, quite hard to find these days from uh, from what I gather. I certainly haven't seen one for a long while. And another one that's quite hard to find is um, this one. This is John Lennon, Imagine. It's got Jealous Guy and um, Happy Christmas War is over on it. And it's from, there was a, a, an album that came out accompanying the Imagine film. And uh, it was taken from there. So I'll show you the back of it there. There we go. This one came out in um, 1988, um, so it was sort of like six years from The Girl Is Mine, that was 82. Um, so 1988 to accompany the uh, the Imagine film. 
Now we skip ahead to 1997. So that is um, what nine years later. Paul issues a whole raft, I say raft, three, um, picture discs to accompany his Flaming Pie album. So the first one up was um, Young Boy um, with uh, the B-side of Looking For You. I don't know if you can see it here. I've got a bright light here. Um, I'll take it out of its plastic sleeve. There we go. So that's the A-side. That's the B-side. And uh, yeah, it is just literally a pink card insert for it to sit in. Like um, next up was Beautiful Night, also issued in uh, 97. This one was yellow. And uh, there's the back of it there. See that? Uh, Love Come Tumbling Down. And uh, there so there's Beautiful Night, that's the A side. There's the B side there. I've come tumbling down. Uh, again, quite, you know, these are now, you know, quite hard to find. I did actually had some spares of these, and I sold them probably about, um, yeah, three years ago now. And they, I had quite a few, and they flew off um, off my shelf, literally. And the last one from the Flaming Pie issues is the World Tonight, um, backed with Used to Be Bad. So there's the. Uh, the back cover. I'll show you the uh, seven inch picture disc. There we are. And then just the repeat picture on the back. So sticking in a similar vein to um, these issues uh, from Flaming Pie, um, obviously we had uh, Wild Prairie, which is Linda's album. And I've included these because obviously Paul is on these tracks as well. So first up we have Wild Prairie, Linda single, that's the back. Inside, these are slightly different to the Flame Empire ones because, um, so there's the, uh, that's the front side of the disc, that's the back side of the disc. But also, interestingly, um, the card actually had some information printed on it and was gatefold. So there's the gatefold bit. And uh, yeah, this just has information about um, who performs on it, and the B side is Cow. Um, I don't know if you can see that. There we are. So, uh, yeah, so that's Flaming Pie. Uh, sorry, Wild Prairie. Getting mixed up with the previous ones. That's Wild Prairie from uh, from Linda's Wild Prairie album. And I'd totally forgotten about this next one because it's from the same album and uh, in a similar format. And uh, yes, and you can see how much it cost way back in 1998. This is The Light From Within and uh, HMV chart 99p bargain. So that's the uh, that's the front and back of the cardboard. Take the disc out for you. It's got a great picture of, uh, of Linda on the uh, on the A side of the disc. There we go. And then on the B side, it's just green with uh, Linda McCartney. Light comes from within. And then inside the uh, the gatefold, once again, this doesn't triple gatefold, so this is uh, just a, uh, like that. And uh, yeah, it just tells you who performs on it, like from within. And I got up. Um, there we go. And again from the album, um, Wild Prairie, Linda's album. And uh, so we're going to skip forward now. We're uh, we're almost there at the end of uh, at the end of the picture discs today anyway we haven't had any new ones uh, coming up so this was um, issued for the 50th anniversary of the yellow submarine um, film I believe and uh, came out in uh, 2015 now that's unusual because uh, surely the film the 50th anniversary would have been 2018 um, so maybe it's the 50th anniversary of um, the single there you go and it's exactly the same, Yellow Submarine with uh, Eleanor Rigby. But it's quite nice, limited edition, Yellow Submarine on one side. This is sealed, so I can't show you the back of it. I can show you the back cover. So there we go, very nice. And then the last, the very last Beatles um, picture disc to date, it was issued 2019 from Egypt Station. And uh, of course, it's uh, Macca's um, here tonight. And uh, it was on a record store day, um, sort of Black Friday uh, issue. So that's the front. Um, comes with a cardboard 
sleeve so uh, that's the back of the cardboard sleeve and um, I don't even know if I've opened this up let me have a look there we go I'll show you the back of the, uh, of the record so that's the uh, A side and that's the double A side identical so uh, yeah so that was um, home tonight backed with uh, in a hurry now, from memory, they were virtual releases, and then this was issued on Black Friday as a physical release, which, uh, yeah, good stuff. I like a, phys I like a physical release rather than a, a digital download. So um, that's the. Uh, so that is to date the last um, Beatles picture disc that I've got in my collection. Correct me if I'm wrong, but obviously I'm only dealing with UK issues here as well, so there may be more in uh, foreign countries. However. There is one more I'm going to show you. Um, it's kind of Beatle related. No Beatles will actually appear on it. But um, while I was going through the collection, just sort of pulling out picture discs, I also came across this one, which is quite hard to find these days. And it's um, Julian Lennon. And it's uh, Too Late for Goodbye's 7-inch picture disc, which uh, came out in, what, 84? Yeah, there we are. So, uh, and then on the back. Yeah. So, yeah, it's kind of Beatle related. You know, obviously John's son, but uh, no Beatles performing it. But... I've got it anyway. Hard to find. It's quite a nice track as well. Whenever you see it. That concludes the video of 7 Inch Picture Disc. I hope you've enjoyed it. Let me know. And um, I'll see you next time. There's probably a couple of videos I know, popping up here. Um, just to sort of uh, yeah, tell you other videos that you may or may not be interested in. But uh, I'll see you next time. Thank you for watching.